I have Joseph Kim with me now, CEO of Innovio. Um, Joseph, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you for this time. I think probably the best way to start this off is probably just a brief uh, introduction to Innovio and what you're working on. Well, we're a world's leader in electroporation delivered DNA vaccines, mm -hmm. which is a very exciting new technology for addressing the current vaccine needs, uh, both in the treatment side as well as the prevention side. Let's take a step back and let's look at the vaccine market in, in general. I mean, it's quite large. If you want to, I guess, elaborate, we've got Gardasil now, a blockbuster drug. Where do you see, you know, as, as an overview, right. what do you see about, about well, the vaccine market? Well, vaccine market is the fastest growing segment of biotechnology. Mm -hmm. In 2001, it was a $5 billion market. Just last year, it grew to $19 billion, uh, largely due to uh, blockbusters like Gardasil, Cerverex, Prevnar. Uh, and it's projected to grow to 40 billion in just three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And where, what the gap's gonna be filled with is the new vaccines mm -hmm. addressing untreated diseases or unaddressed diseases. Now let's, let's talk about kind of the, the next generation vaccine. It is a combination or a continuing effort mm -hmm. for us to develop a universal flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. So H1N1 is just one of the targets. Uh, we have H5, H2, and H3. Together, those four components uh, create uh, our universal flu vaccine where you don't have to change from year to year, from the season to season, just the way that the current approaches are doing. And it can combat the... the the stereotypical epidemic influences as well, the avian flu, you know, right. the bird flu, as well as right. the one that's on everybody's mind right now, obviously, is the swine flu. Absolutely. They're just, they're changes in, in the H's right. and N's and metagluten, or mm -hmm. the and A's and metagluten. Mm -hmm. It's just the coating, I guess, right. of, of the virus. So. The swine flu H1N1, mm -hmm. currently circulating strain, uh, we immunize both pigs, which is a large animal model, uh, more natural host for the current strain, and in mice, in both cases, uh, we were able to see a complete uh, protective effects uh, in pigs and also against the current strain. And in mice, it actually protected them from uh, getting really sick. So that was very exciting. Well, speaking of, of uh, you know, exciting events at the company, um, just fairly recently, June 1st, was the announcement of the merger right. between Inovio and VGX, which is a, a, right. a private company also involved in both electroporation and, right. and DNA vaccines. Right. The com you, you came from, from VGX, but the combination now of, of right. these two companies together really fills out a, a very strong pipeline of product candidates. Right. Inovio, former Inovio, focused on corporate licenses, and they were very good at it, Merck, Tripep, and others. Uh, former VGX, prior to the merger, was extremely good with academic and government partnerships. Uh, we received one of the largest HIV grant funding. Uh, we received multiple uh, biodefense fundings from the Army, uh, U.S. Army and Department of Defense. We received uh, many Gates-related funding, uh, most recently for the utilizing our platform to develop new generations of uh, uh, new generation of malaria vaccines. Mm -hmm. So when you put those two programs together, you have a very strong validation of government funders and NGO funders and, and the licensees from the large pharma and biotech industries. So the virtue of having such a great experts together with the combination and uniting of the patent estate creates a, a true synergistic and, and, and real powerhouse uh, to grow our, our company from. Well, let's expand on that just a little bit. Uh, from an investor standpoint, what could we as the investor expect to see for those milestones and events in the next 12 month window? Next 12 months, uh, we will be able to complete most, if not all, of our phase one and pre phase one programs. Mm -hmm. uh, those include the cervical cancer therapeutic vaccine, VGX 3100, will be completed uh, by. Uh, uh, as expected by the sec end of second quarter of next year, interim data being available by end of uh, 2009. Uh, much of our HIV vaccine data will be available by mid next year. Mm. Uh, we expect the flu vaccine program, the first set of clinical trials uh, data to be available. Uh, these are much quicker trials than the cancer or HIV trials. Uh, we expect to see uh, a bulk of the clinical data by mid next year. Uh, and we also have several interesting uh, clinical studies that are completing, uh, conducted by our partners who are u utilizing our device mm -hmm. 
in their own programs. These are TRIPEPs, uh, hepatitis C vaccine, which will be completed by the end of this year, uh, Merck's uh, cancer vaccines in multiple sites against multiple targets uh, will progress very well by uh, mid next year. So you have a strong yeah, set of- show a lot. <laughs> a lot, okay. a lot, so. Well, we'll definitely uh, be very interested to watch the developments as they come through. Thank Great. you very much, Joseph. Appreciate Thank it. you, Bill. Again, that was Inovio Biomedical Corporation. If you need more information on the trade on the American Stock Exchange under the symbol INO, you can get more information online at onemedplace.com as well as their website, inovio.com. Mm -hmm.